Okay. Now, three commando zombies in one place. That's pretty hardcore. That's a revenant. That is so a revenant. Supplies, BFG cell. Sweet. <laughs> Now all I need is a BFG. Man, I'm loaded with shit. Die! That would have. If I would have not used the soul cube, he would have taken away like ha half my health. Not cool. Shells! I like shells. Is there some health left? Right then, one more destination. Security clearance accepted. I can't get over this. This is the most excessive bridge system I've ever seen. disc that is the same one that we saw earlier BFG vid FM. yeah okay okay I gotta save here this boss fight is not gonna be nice because Kelly is much more than just a human right now and shit I don't have my so cute <laughs> there's some stupid zombie I can't this will make it ridiculously hard. Welcome to the missile. Ah! Um Yeah, that was short. That was very short indeed. <laughs> Welcome to the mess hall. Alright. This time don't walk beyond the edge. What he dropped. <laughs> awesome! Got it back. And Kelly is dead. He turned into a fucking tank. I can't quite explain it either. Okay, let's pick up some supplies while we're here. With a soul cube over BFG, this fight would have been e would have been a lot easier. But the rocket launcher, I don't know. It's my impression he didn't take that much punishment before he, before he went down. A few rocket hits, that's all. Good thing I saved those. Okay, guys, there is only one more boss left. Hell's mightiest warrior, as the cube calls it. 
and we'll see it soon. But uh, there's still a few levels to go. Sight free. We're going down, far down into the earth. Or should I say Mars? Front level access point of the original subterranean Mars space structure. Research objects from lower levels are analyzed and studied in this facility. This is where they found the seal cube. Soul cube, didn't they? Just about. Hmm. Hell night. Hey, dude. Hey, just like in old times. Like in old times, five missiles and he's dead. Technically, this Hell Knight is more reminiscent of the original Baron of Hell because of the amount of health he has. The classic Hell Knight in itself is not in this game because that would be this one with half as much, half as many hit points. That's not the case. Can't open this. Barrels here for my taste. Garage. Okay, so cube time. Eat him. I love this little thing. Cells. Pierce Rogers. Maggot? I thought I'd never see bees again. Yeah, it's really weird. Some enemies in Doom 3 just disappear off the radar for, for many le- Ah! What I was about to say, some enemies just disappear off the radar and don't appear for like so many levels, it's, it's crazy. It's like, it makes you almost forget about them and then they come back. But maggots? They're really not that dangerous right now. Not with equipment I have. <laughs> Why is it so dark? Whoa. Why is there a... Is this a... I don't know what this shit is supposed to be. Definitely not the usual UAC equipment. Not my type of furniture, really. On chain gun and submachine gun. Dodge that one. Can't see anything. Ow! Die! Damn it! I thought you could sneak up on me, huh? Well, you fought wrong. PDA? Richard Davis, that's the wrong one. I need Pierce Rogers.
They call me the grenade juggler. I guess this way. Dark as shit in here. This doesn't look right. I want to have a look around first. Okay, I guess that is the way. Why would they put such an elaborate ladder and vent system here? Oh yeah, I have not been here. Searching. If I'm correct, that cube is our only chance to stop this. No time to explain now. You need to get to the caverns quickly. Take my PDA. It's right there on the desk. It's got security codes for the area and my research logs on it. It'll help. I can't go with you. I need to finish my work here. Good luck. I'm locking the door after you leave. Let's have a quick look at the stuff we picked up. Video. Ancient civilization. This will definitely be interesting. This is Dr. Pierce Rogers, lead archaeologist currently stationed on Mars. As the preliminary reports have suggested, we have made some amazing discoveries here on Mars. Life on Mars has long been theorized, but we never imagined anything like this. The initial chamber was discovered in 2115, it leads into what is now known as Site 1. Site 1 is the largest of the sites, and we are still actively working there. It is made up of a series of chambers and connecting tunnels, all of which are covered in glyphs and symbols. Using the UAC pattern processor, we have finally been able to understand some of the glyphs, and from them, here is what we have learned. The ancient people looked like us, at least to the extent that they were bipedal and were similar shape and size. Their level of technology was astounding. For instance, the glyphs at each site were carved into the rock by some sort of machine, and each one is precisely cut from the stone. It far exceeds the precision of anything we can do. They had a social structure that seemed very aristocratic, with a lot of emphasis on social stature and structure. Site 2 is a much smaller set of chambers, mostly containing burial sites, temples, and various amounts of individual artifacts. This site has been photographed and cleared out, and all material is back on Earth for study and review. Site 3 produced our prize artifact, what we call the Soul Cube. If you have read or seen the other material, you probably know that this once grand civilization was attacked by some unknown force. If we can believe what is written in stone, they sacrificed most of their society to drive the invaders back. There are additional reports filed on the Soul Cube with Central Administration. We also recovered several other device-type artifacts. They are not as ornate as the Soul Cube, but each appears unique. We are still learning how to interpret all of the glyphs, and hopefully, once we have that completed, the science teams can provide more detailed information on their technology. Now, these are truly unique and special times for archaeologists. Hmm. All right, then. I'm going to save here. And it looks like um, that we're going to go down into, into more of these dig sites soon. All right. See you next time.